Are you looking for new ideas to help your child work with both hands at the same time? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to work on some skills to do just that. Keep on watching to learn more. Hi mamas and papas. I'm Amy, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play Be, and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Today, I want to show you some fun little activities using bean bags to help you get your child to use both hands at the same time. All right, so using bean bags is a great way for you to work on eye-hand coordination skills. So we're gonna do a little bit of juggling today. Now you may think of juggling and think that is a really hard skill to advance for my child. So we're gonna start way back in the beginning and try to do skills that are a little bit easier. Before you get into juggling, you wanna make sure that you've already tried some tasks with your child so that they have some basic skills. For example, your child should be able to toss back bean bags with you, right? Using two hands is fine. So you wanna make sure that if you're standing maybe five feet apart, that you can toss a bean bag back and forth and they are able to catch it pretty regularly. You also wanna make sure that your child can toss a bean bag at a target. That is gonna help them to be ready to advance onto more juggling type of skills. If you don't have bean bags in your house, you can also just use a pair of rolled up socks. The bean bags are a little bit easier to catch for those little ones because they have more surface area and kind of are easier to grab. One of the reasons why we are doing this activity is because children often neglect to use their hand when they are doing things like handwriting. They may place their hand to the side and not hold their paper. There's a lot of reasons why they could be doing that. I'm not gonna get into those today, but I want you to work on encouraging your child to use both hands. So juggling is a great way to do that. So we're gonna do this in a series of steps where we're gonna increase our difficulty with this skill. You might be doing this skill for a really long time. So you wanna start working on it at the beginning. The first thing we're gonna do is start with one bean bag and we're going to toss it up in the air and catch it with two hands. This seems really basic and it is. Sometimes children have a really hard time with controlling their arm and getting the idea of just tossing a bean bag up lightly. Sometimes they'll throw it too softly like this or they may throw it too hard like this. <laughs> you didn't know that hit my ceiling. So you wanna make sure that you're working on tossing and catching a bean bag with two hands first. Once your child is able to master that two hand catch with one bag, you're going to work on catching it 10 times with one hand. So you're just going to be tossing it up and down and making sure that they can catch it 10 times. Now we're advancing on to the other side. Usually your child is gonna start with their dominant hand, then you want them to switch over using their non-dominant hand and see if they can catch better than I am right now. <laughs> yeah, so when you're not left-handed and you're using your left hand, it's a little awkward at first, even for someone as experienced as me. You might have a little bit more difficulty using that opposite hand, which is why you want to practice with it. Then you want to catch using your opposite hand. So we're going to toss the bag up and catch it with our opposite hand. Then you're going to switch it back to your same hand. Once you got that down, then you're going to throw it and catch it with the opposite hand. So you're tossing with your one hand, catching it, and then tossing it back up with that other hand. So you're really just going back and forth with the one bag. We have opposite hand catch, right? And then we have the opposite hand catch and toss. All right, so it may take your child a while to get to that point. Then we're going to advance to two bags. <gasps> when we're working with two bags, first we wanna start out with tossing them at the same time. So you're basically going to do a crisscross and switch. So they're gonna go up and switch, right? Up and switch. Now you see that I am looking at the bags. 
right? I'm not staring right into the camera. I can, but I may not be as good at it. You wanna make sure that you encourage your child to look at the bean bags, because this is eye-hand coordination activity. Okay guys, now it's gonna get even more tricky. So now we're going to try to toss the bean bags at different times. So we're going to do a right left catch catch. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Right left catch catch. Ooh, I got it. Right left catch catch. Right left catch catch. Ah! I missed that one. Right left catch catch. Right left catch catch. Once you got that down, the last one we're going to do is a opposite left right catch catch left right catch catch left right catch catch ah! this requires a little bit of skill and it is really great to get both of those hands active and your child aware so give these a try i know that they can be challenging but they are really great activities to work on your child and they can be super fun don't be afraid to throw on some music make this into like a circus atmosphere, like they're learning a really cool skill that they can show up to their friends. This is a really great beginner skill before you go on to real juggling with three objects. Did you find this video helpful? I hope that you did. If you did, I hope that you will subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below, like this video, all that good stuff. You can also head over to playap.com where you can sign up for our newsletter, where you can receive discounts and updates and all kinds of things related to Play It Beat just once a month. And you can also learn about the PALS handwriting program. So there's plenty for you to learn and many free resources there. Until the next video, I hope you have a playful day.